Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. Hello, everybody. We are so glad to see you too. Hola, chicos. Para el story time de hoy, les traigo un libro llamado Sticks. Y hay una sorpresa al final. Espero que la disfruten. Sticks, written and illustrated by Diane Albert. This story begins on a hot summer day when a cold tasty treat began melting away. It was so very hot and it happened so quick. What once was a popsicle was now a stained stick. Deep in a puddle that was getting quite sticky, this sad little stick cried and felt rather icky. I should not have gone out when it was so hot. It was sweet and amazing, but now I am not. What can I do? This has gone all so wrong. I'm just a plain stick. Oh, where do I belong? Then, Stick heard a voice from way up in a tree. Hello down there. You can come hang with me. I couldn't help hearing what you have been through. My name is Twig, and I'm made of wood too. Please do not cry and just listen to me. Before a sweet popsicle, you are part of a tree. There's so much in this world for you to explore. You will get through this and be more than before. Twig quickly jumped down from the very tall tree and said, Stick, there is something I'd like you to see. Sometimes things happen and the reasons aren't clear, but give it some time and the answers appear. She knew her friend Pencil could draw something grand. Hopefully he could help Stick understand. I was once a stick too, and nothing much more. But then one special day, I got a gray core. I didn't know how to draw, so I swirled a nice line. And then I discovered I'd made a design. You are amazing. Can't you see? I'm just a stained stick. Stick. My only talent was melting too quick. I cannot draw or do a fun trick. I'll always be just an icky, sticky stick. Twig knew she needed to show Stick even more. Something amazing that he could not ignore. So they went to see Brush. He was once lost too. But now he could paint with red, yellow, and blue. Brush was a plain stick and nothing much more. But one special day, he got bristles galore. Look at him now. Look at all he can do. He easily made that fun splatter crew. It's true what Twig said. I was once just like you. Please don't be afraid to try something new. I know you are scared. I can tell by your face. But it might take some time to find your right place. We believe in you. Can't you see? I'm just a stained stick. My only talent was melting too quick. I cannot paint or do a fun trick. I'll always be just an icky, sticky stick. Listen to me. You are pretty great. Don't say I can't. Say I can and celebrate. I know you have not been a plain stick before. You have the chance now to be something much more. Twig saw that Stick was still very upset. So she thought 
they should go back to where they first met. Back at the sweet puddle of sugary goo, Twig thought Stick might find a good clue. Then Twig looked up. It's been there all along. That little stick house could be where you belong. Twig was excited. She ran up the tree and shouted to Stick, Hurry up! Follow me! Stick couldn't believe Twig had climbed up so high. I've never climbed the tree and I'm too scared to try. Just then, a bluebird flew down to the ground and lifted Stick up without making a sound. The bird placed him gently in the last open space. Finally, Stick found his new happy place. This is where I belong. I can make art in a tree. It was quite a journey, but I'm glad to be me. Stick never forgot that one hot summer day and was glad that his popsicle melted away. He made some true friends and beautiful tree art and learned it's never too late to have a fresh start. How to make sticks birdhouse. You will need jumbo craft sticks, stickers, hot glue to be used by mom or dad, paint, string, and clear acrylic sealer. Next, you just need to follow the steps on the pictures until you get your beautiful birdhouse. I hope you have fun. The end. Espero que hayan disfrutado el libro y que puedan hacer el pequeño proyecto que sale al final. Bye, bye.